The Tiger Who Came to Tea is a very strange but wonderful story of a surprise guest who comes to visit. And you can tell from the picture on the cover that it's a tiger. The author and illustrator of the book is Judith Kerr. Whilst I'm reading, I want you to think about first, next, and last. This is called sequencing. What happens first in the story? What happens next? And what happens last? We'll have a little quiz at the end of the video. Let's read the blurb to find out more about the story. The doorbell rings just as Sophie and her mummy are sitting down to read. Who could it possibly be? What they certainly don't expect to see at the door is a big, furry, stripy tiger. It's true, you absolutely wouldn't expect to see a tiger at your door. I wonder why he is there. What do you think he wants? Let's read the story to find out. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mommy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mom said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mommy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mommy said, Would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mom said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, Thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mom said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mommy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, 
I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mommy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. The end. Who would you like to come to your house to tea? Maybe someone famous? A singer? Or a football player? Or maybe a friend that you haven't seen in a long time? What would you give them to eat? Remember I asked you to think about the sequencing of the story. What happened first, next and last? Here are four pictures. Let's try to sequence them. Well, I remember there was a knock on the door at the start of the story. So that means that this picture must come first. We put number one beside it. Next, the tiger started to eat and drink everything. So this picture must be next. We will put number two beside it. Can you guess what number three is going to be? After the tiger left, do you remember that Sophie went to take her bath, but there was no water left? Well, this picture of Sophie and her mom in the bathroom must be next. We'll put number three beside it. That leaves just one picture. It is the picture of Sophie having tea in the cafe with her mom and dad. It's the last picture in our sequence. We'll put number four beside it. Did you guess right? Here's a picture of the author Judith Kerr. She has written loads of children's books, most of them about a cat called Mog. Maybe you have read them. There's also a stage show of the tiger who came to tea. Doesn't the tiger look amazing? I'd love to see that show someday.